Throughout our history, the Jaguar name has been associated with elegant style combined with luxury, performance, and realistic prices. Our first new post-war saloon was the Mark V, introduced in 1949 and provided with 2.5 or 3.5 litre engines. The chassis, a deep box section frame, was entirely new, improving ground clearance whilst hydraulic brakes replaced mechanical ones. Above all, the Mark V offered reliability, a 3.5 litre model taking third place at the 1951 Monte Carlo Rally. The Mark V was replaced in 1951 by the Mark VII, perhaps the best known of our early post-war saloon models. Advertised as the car that had grace, space, pace, the Mark VII remained in production for six years, winning awards for its coachwork design. At its heart was the famous XK engine, tried and tested, and modified to produce 160 horsepower. Inside was the luxury finish Jaguar is renowned for. Fine leather upholstery, superb woodwork, and a sliding roof. And believe it or not, the Mark VII was a competitor too, winning innumerable rallies, including the 1956 Monte Carlo. In 1957, we introduced an improved version of the Mark VII, the Mark VIII. Featuring folding tables, heater, cigar lighters, and deep pile carpet, the Mark VIII was really aimed at the executive market. The Mark IX followed in 1958. This was real executive transport, power-assisted steering, cruising speeds of 100 miles an hour, and disc brakes as standard. It was also powered by the 3.8-litre engine used for our racing cars in 1957 and 58. And, as always, it was reliable, superbly finished, and undersold the competition. <laughs>